Hello, wonderful people of YouTube. I just got the 401 on the helmet. So I want to share that with you. I am in America in one of the bike stores and in front of me I have a whole row of Jairus helmets. As you can have a look. I'm going to talk about the main difference just between sort of the entry and a little bit better more like advanced <laughs> sort of design and the price comparison right so I'm going to grab one of the Saga helmets it's a female Saga helmet just here and then I'm gonna get one of the ember one of the ember let's me double check it is there you go this is actually like so bright I'm loving this I'm actually really loving this one right now. So, having a look at the comparison, right? So, I'll help a couple of this one straight. How different are they? Oh, this is a bit, um, got a different color, right? So, for you to see the same color, I'll show you with this one. So, it just makes a little bit more sense in the video. Here you go. Is that better? So the visual thing, like obviously helmets are not there to make your head look pretty, they're there to make your head safe. But at the same time, you want it to be aerodynamic and easy to ride in, you want it to be light on your head if you'll be wearing it for quite a while. So with this one, as you can see, the ember, this is the ember. This is 149 US and this is 84.99, so it's 85 dollars US right now. So the difference of you know seventy dollars almost definitely they both have MIPS technology which I'll talk about in a minute as well but basically this the plastic bits here they're all made separately and in, in individually and this is much more arrow if you have a look at it from the back from the front you can imagine the wind easier going over it compared to this one this one has these plastic bits on sides in between so this is one bit of plastic and you put it on and this is a way cheaper way to make helmets which is why these helmets are cheaper than these ones right this one is also slightly heavier than this one because of these extra plastic bits in between you can have a look yep and this small arrow as you can see just even by looking at it there's a lot more wind can just go on while well, there is a bit of blocking this gets fused on onto here so it's just a much better like this hand it's not just glue that you can get from your very very cheap helmets and I'll show you the other one although this one is still a good helmet Jared, but not quite as so selling so another difference with these helmets apart from weight aerodynamics and the fact that this is done a separate individual bits of plastic which costs more money and everything is the strips the little strips that I actually didn't think about to consider before but why I don't know why I didn't <laughs> this the more expensive helmet the strip is much thinner and it feels nicer so it'll be nicer to have it on the face and also this one the big and chunky one clunky it will absorb all the sweat and it's just now to think back at it the helmets that helmet that I have it's pretty like I, I feel it especially if I'm like out riding it might sound a bit gross but you're like sweating and you just do feel it feels heavy when this is very nice and smooth I'll try and show you for comparison do you, do you sort of see so there's I know there's lights behind me I'll flip the camera and I'll try and show it to you so you'll be able to see better Do you see? It is significantly thicker compared to this little one. This feels much nicer and would feel much nicer on your face compared to this. This one again, this strip feels the best out of them all, really. Nice and thin and smooth and just, just 
one is a bit rougher and better. Yeah. So. so you want it to be fitting really snug, then you turn upside down and you see if it will come off. Feels pretty good, feels pretty good. Mm. So there's this one. It was 150. Very bright hair. I think it looks good though too with all these things. And I'll try on the blue one. Hold on. And there's this one. There's a better light. What do you reckon? This one costs just a little bit over half of the other one, the price wise. I definitely do need to replace my regular helmet as well, just because it's getting, <laughs> gotten a lot of wear and tear out of it. It's starting to crack in a few places, not just plastic, so I definitely need to replace it. And I don't want to be using my $300 helmet that charges up on every little ride I do. So I'm just looking at a new helmet. Now both of these helmets have MIPS technology, which is little plastic bits that are on the inside of the helmet. As you can see, I'll move it up closer. You see that little flappy plastic thing? And the other one. So they're equally good in that regard. So they both have it. So MIPS is a technology that was actually created by company Bell and just helmets over here and invented and now Gyro, Gyro uses it as well because they're like linked up together and more and more of other helmet manufacturers are implementing it and the idea is that if you have a crash that little plasticky thing I know it might not seem like too much but it will basically save you and make sure that you don't get a concussion when you're hitting something your helmet might go but your head will still like it'll take some of the impact So now I'm a bit perplexed, well, I think there's just definitely a value and there's also love how nice and bright this helmet is, it's very pinkish, I go for blue or you know silver or I've you know I've had this bright yellow helmet that I really really liked, it was really cool, not this exact one, I had a similar one but this one, I'm actually really loving it, might get that one, so there's a model of that one. Oh, there's that one. <laughs> Both pretty good though. So I had more talk to did more talking with some of the guys here at the store and basically another person's opinion is obviously right. How many people there are there, they might have slightly different opinions about different things differences between cheaper more expensive helmets so let me just grab another one this is gyro bronte and this is thirty dollars so we're just looking at different helmets and their prices right so again you're paying for um, i looked at the weights of these two to be honest and generally generally the more expensive would be <laughs> lighter than that, these ones. But I looked at the weights and they're basically the same. 301 gram and 308 grams. Whilst something that you want to look at as well when you're getting a helmet is this back dial, i.e. how it will fit on your head. So if you have a look at these dials, yeah, and then this one, can you see? This is like way bigger and chunkier and doesn't quite feel as nice. See? This is just a nice tight little dialer box. Oh, there you go. Now you see better compared to this big and chunky. And I've noticed with my cheaper helmets again, that's like big and chunky and it just fits nicer and it's designed to fit nicer when it's just slightly more expensive like 
depends how it fits, fills on your head and how it fits your head shape, right? Because you want to be using it and riding it and feel good in it. There's some padding on the inside. And another thing, when you're looking at the helmet, that I didn't mention before, is the ventilation. So how cool you will feel in these helmets. So compare the ventilation of this and this. I'm trying to make it so you see it. So it's just, I'll put it on the ground and I'll flip you guys around so you can have a look. So the amount, so the amount of ventilation here compared to these holes, right? And then these ones. These are a little bit longer and a bit bigger but probably compared to this, right? Bigger difference. So obviously these things would come into account when you're riding in the hotter climates or spending many hours on the bike. So to sum it all up, also, to add another little twist to it, I'll insert a little video here. There's this bell helmet that I'm trying on as well, I'm playing with at the moment. And it feels good and nice too. And it has the MIPS, it has the nice little tight dial up at the back and it fits good. And it has the nice soft padding inside. It has a whole bunch of vents as well. I just don't have all the numbers around front. And it's 260 grams actually actually this is 260 grams while these guys are 300 and one and three or three and eight and this this is 300 so in all honesty the weight are actually the weights actually very similar to be quite honest with you guys even though they might try and sell it to your weight you're not gonna really would you feel that two two grams difference on your head if you're not with the France racer See, that's how they make this one that much lighter. There is over here, there is a bit that's not even there. It's just holding it on. Whilst in all of these, this chunky bit. Alright, there's still a bit of. I'm like, hang it on. This is the lightest of them all as well. It's interesting and the cool thing about this guy is the reflective did you see that it's just like it's designed to be more reflective and have reflection yeah but it wouldn't work with the other ones no um well some of them are like that one is so the, is that the lighter this, colors yeah or? this one's just designed to, to do, do that, that and it's got the one? it's got the reflective yeah Plus this one is silver. Silver goes with a lot of things. So basically when you're choosing a helmet, there are a few things that you want to look at. One, is it safe? Is it up to regulations? Does it have everything that it needs to have? Ideally you want, for example, MIPS technologies or something along like that. So all these helmets in front of me, actually this one, this one, the cheaper one, it doesn't have the map, so it won't be as safe technically. Although riding in a helmet is going to be way better than riding in no helmet at all. Or So always wear a helmet because safety is first. And there are things that you want to look at are these little strips. I'll also do a flip and show a strip on a really cheap helmet compared to these more expensive ones. The ventilation, the amount of weight, the vent, the aerodynamics of it, it depends how racing, speedy, competitive you are. And a little, the strips, the strips, the padding on the inside, the strips, how nice they feel, how thin they are. And then basically the aesthetics, I guess at the end, because you do want to like what you're riding in and what you're wearing. Oh, well, this was helpful. Now which one do you reckon? I'm looking at this. I do like the silvers, but I don't think they look as good on the head. <laughs> and I know it's not about how good they look, but anyway.
humoury. And there's this guy. It's very bright, very visible. But I do like that colour as well. But I'm thinking maybe this one. But it still costs 150. You can call it <laughs> dead cheap. But. Mm.